So since my last video upgraded my Ender 3, I haven't really made any changes, but now like more than a year later, it's long overdue some upgrades. More specifically, the ones I've been meaning to get around to is installing a better leveling sensor and also finding a way to create those cool custom time lapses you saw at the beginning. And before I start, I just want to say sorry it's been such a long time since my last video, but I'm back. And as you might have seen from the title, I've also gotten around to releasing the hidden blade files, which I'll talk more about at the end of the video. In order to make the custom time lapses, I'm using this cheap remote shutter button, which I then press using the printer head to take a photo each layer. I got the idea for this from a video by Make Anything, which I'll link in the description. But to get it working, I had to first design and then print a mount to attach this specific shutter button to the Ender 3. After installing it, I then had to move the printer head in order to find the exact X coordinate where it would take a photo. With that information, I could then go into Cura and add a post-processing custom time-lapse script. Um, if you want any more information on this, um, I'll link in the description the video I used as a tutorial, but it might be worth noting, I think the script's changed a little bit since that video. So now you don't need to use the find and replace script and you can just specify return speed. So here are the settings I'm using. These settings took a while to dial in. So the first time-lapse I did, which is of a mount for the leveling sensor, had a load of problems with string but by the end I managed to get it to where it is now. Now that that's working the next step is to install a leveling sensor. Now the one I'm using is a 3D touch which is a cheap knockoff of a BL touch so hopefully it doesn't break. Alongside this I also installed the Creality silent mainboard as my under 3 had the original 8-bit mainboard which has just made a massive difference in terms of the sound the stepper motors make while printing. It also has built-in connectors for a leveling sensor which made installing it so much easier. And now with all the upgrades done, it's only fair that I show off the new upgraded printer with some cool custom time lapses. If you wanna see a video that's just a montage of those time lapses, I'll be very happy to make that because they're just so satisfying. Anyway, as mentioned, I now shared the files for Hidden Blade, which a lot of you were asking me to do. So you can find a link to them down in the description. Now, one thing I didn't mention is I based my design off of one already on Thingiverse by PiggyJJ. I've uploaded it as a remix of that design, and they've also got a video where they show how to assemble theirs. So I'll link that in the description if you're interested in building your own. Anyway, I think that's everything. So sorry it's been such a short video and such a long time since the last one, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.